crooks targeting rideshare drivers with a brand new scam. One Lyft driver lost out of $500 of his hard-earned money. Let's go live now to Fox 31 problem solver Shaw Turner with what the company is now doing about it, Shaw. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, when it comes to rideshare, we don't want to get in the back of anybody's car before we know exactly who is sitting in the driver's seat. And the drivers, they want to know who they're picking up. But here's the deal. New technology makes it easier for scammers to trick drivers. We asked Lyft to step in and help. In this situation, here's what happened. I love getting the interaction of the customers. Kane Hager tells the problem solvers it's always a smooth ride when he drives for Lyft. But after dropping off customers at DIA, he got a strange request on his app. Someone wanted to be picked up on one side of the airport and be dropped off on the other side. It, it's not normal, but I thought maybe it's just a client that needs to go from the west side to the east side and I can help them out. Before Hager could get to the passenger, he received a request to call the woman. So he did, but a man picked up instead. He said this is the Lyft support team. Um, you just, from your last client, you just got a bad review and it said that your profile did not match the look of the driver, and we're suspending your account currently. Hager knew his picture matched. Something seemed a little off. I literally sat on hold for 25 minutes, not receiving any rides, which was odd to me. Now, the scam. The man said Hager's verification checked out, so to make up for the unnecessary delay, the company would give Hager $50. All he had to do is go through a process to receive it, right away, of course, so he could get back on the road and continue making money. When you hit accept on the express pay, it goes, that money goes directly to their card. From your account? From my account. He lost $500. So that's the trick. They scare tactic you. Lyft investigated the case right away. Hager tells Fox 31 he's coming forward because he's trying to warn other drivers. He hopes no one will fall victim just for trying to help someone who needs a ride. I think that it's so messed up that there's people out there that don't really care about taking somebody's income that they're making. Yeah, that is really messed up. And what Lyft just told us is that they have secured Hager's account. They have reimbursed his money. And also, they have totally deleted that scammer's account from the app, from the platform. And they encourage every driver to really be careful, verify anyone, and never give that special code they have to anyone they don't know. Anyone where they're just not sure, they've got to try to verify it first. And Lyft should make it easy for drivers to do that. Shaul Turner reporting live in Denver, Fox 31. Okay.